And welcome back, welcome back. I'm your host, Doc Bob Lee. Hey, on November the 15th, GMHC, they're going to hold a screening of Party Boy. It's B-O-I instead of B-O-Y. Party Boy. It's a film exploring the subject of meth addiction and more. Let's take a look. When I see myself in the mirror, I hate who I am. Like, I couldn't see myself escorting no more because it wasn't making enough money for my lifestyle. I need to bring awareness to this situation. Bo Ramirez is here, HIV educator and curriculum writer. We welcome you to the show. Okay, thank you. And you've been here before. Yes, and happy spoke, to be back. Yeah, you're always welcome. Um, we spoke about a number of things, but today we're talking about addiction, meth addiction. Specifically meth Specific addiction, yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, you know, methamphetamine addiction is uh, mm -hmm. back in New York. It's hitting the uh, queer, uh, black and Latino community. Is it a hidden youth. epidemic? Um, no, it's, it actually cross-sects so many uh, groups. Uh, on the Midwest, it's, it's considered a, uh, a drug that housewives and truck drivers use. Yeah. Um, the challenge for us in New York, uh, especially with queer, uh, Latino, mm -hmm. and um, um, black uh, youth, is that the behaviors associated with meth use put them at risk yeah. for HIV and other STIs, as well as, as, as other risks, legal risks, health risks, and so on. So you have something else in your mind that's altering your state of mind that will put you in a greater risk category. Abs absolutely. Um, people who use methamphetamine and then engage in sexual behavior um, increase their, mm -hmm. the likelihood of uh, exposure to HIV by almost 400%. So Party Boy? Party Boy is a great documentary um, directed by Michael Rice. Um, it follows the life of, uh, of three or four um, LGBT youth from the black community. Mm -hmm. um, and really paints a broad picture of what their struggles are like. And people have become disproportionately affected by drug use in these big cities, so to speak? Uh, mostly in the big cities right now. It's, it's, um, what we're seeing is an e a correlation between methamphetamine use, unsafe sexual behaviors, and um, uh, new HIV uh, diagnoses. Yeah. So the challenge with meth specifically, it has such a large binge, binge path over other drugs that when, from the moment someone uses to the moment they stop, it could be weeks at times. Oh. And it's hard to get someone in care in that space. So relapse becomes a major issue as well. Right. So our goal is we're having this documentary uh, November 15th at 6 p.m. at GMHC, and we're following it up with a discussion panel. And we're bringing in some mental health experts, we're bringing in addiction experts, um, we're bringing in yeah. some social experts to talk about how all these paths intersect. And how does it make you feel? What does it do? And how come it's so addictive? And how come it takes so long to get out of the body? You said uh, it takes about a week or so. You're still high. And you're still stopping. high. Yeah. Absolutely. And, th and then there's the come down, which is another week or two. Um, it's a stimulant. It's one of the most powerful stimulants out there used recreationally. And when I say it's one of the most powerful, what people always find surprising, it's over 120% more powerful than using cocaine. Mm -hmm. So when you use it, it's more powerful. How people are using it, they're, they're um, injecting it, they're freebasing it. It's going in their bloodstreams and it's taking a long time to get out. And our goal is to give um, youth an alternative um, than falling in the path of this drug. What's the reaction? What's the feeling? Uh, it's a stimulant. So it's, it's, it, there's going to be this, this perceived euphoria. Euf per uh, yes, and I love saying you perceived euphoria because you'll feel it, you'll think it, but um, it's not a safe behavior. Um, a, a sense of, of feeling powerful. Um, and that's where a lot of the unsafe behaviors come from. Yeah. Um, and it lasts for hours. It's, it's, it, it can last over 24 hours at times, depending on how you're administering. So euphoria, whether you're doing sex, no matter what you're doing. You're yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and not everyone, you know, there, there are different communities. There, you'll hear stories of housewives who use it to lose weight, truck drivers who use it to stay awake. Um, our focus is the community that's at risk right now, and that's yeah. um, our, our youth. And how did we find out that this was happening? Uh, methamphetamine had a big impact in the gay community in the early 2000s. Um, fortunately, the federal government clamped down on pseudonephrine, a key component in making meth. So mm -hmm. we saw the usage drop. Unfortunately, the Mexican cartels came in, and mm -hmm. they're sending in a pure, cheaper version of the drug. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're starting to see now that trail, when we, when we speak to our youth, they're starting to use it again. We're starting to see um, new diagnosis go up again. So that, that's how we know it's coming back. How are we heading it mm -hmm. all? Um, thing, education. Uh, education. Things like, that's yeah. what we're doing. We're really informing people about their drug, what the drug is. We're informing people that it's more powerful than almost any other drug out there, yeah. which is very important. And we have to get our, our um, 
gay and Latino um, and black youth into care. That's critical. They have, we, GMHC, they can come for mental health services, they can come for addiction services, they can come for case management. And when they're in care and they're under that umbrella, yeah. then they're not going um, elsewhere for support. And we're creating the awareness. I mean, we're showing the film. Where's the film going to be shown? At GMHC, 38th Street um, and 8th Avenue at 6 o'clock on November 15th. November 15th. Let mm -hmm. me just write that down. November 15th, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. Did we have no another November? Uh, November is 12th. <laughs> okay. So we're busy. 6 p.m., yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what will people learn from this film? Well, they're going to learn how it's impacting um, minority communities, the black and Latino communities. Um, the, then we're going to talk to the panel afterwards. So they're going to learn about the services that we provide. Our goal yeah. is to get more people into care. Yeah. Um, and then where we come in as, as educators, I educate non-medical providers on how to deal with their clients or patients that uh, they believe are uh, suffering from methamphetamine abuse. I, I like it. Great. I like it. Thank you. So. The last time you were here, like I said, you were talking about something else, but this seems to be the sub. This is big. This is big. This, this is, is big. huge. Um, we, we are poised for the first time ever to get ahead of an epidemic because we have data now. A lot of this is driven by social media, by uh, social sex sites, believe it or not. Yeah. So we can see the data. We can see what's happening. And we have an opportunity to get ahead of it, get education out there before it becomes the epidemic that uh, we feel it, it, it could potentially become. Yeah. And we're so not going like to let a double it. epidemic. It'll be it, HIV. It, it'll be it, meth. Absolutely. And this this drug, it, you know, even besides um, HIV, even besides um, all the other health risks, it destroys families. It destroys lives. Yeah. It's it's devastating. Where can we go to get more? Um, the the big you can go to gmhc.com and just scroll through Article 31 and 32 Article 31 and 32 services. Uh -huh. They're the ones that provide mental health and um, substance abuse. And they're the uh, organization within uh, GMHC that I work very closely with on this. Thank you for all your service and Great. all your, your work in educating our, our people. Bo Ramirez, HIV educator and curriculum writer, GMHC. That's correct. Thank you so much. It's good seeing you there. Always a pleasure. Great. We'll take a quick break right here, but stay tuned. We'll be right back with more next.